Driven, the 2023 BMW X7 is two steps forward, half a step back. One of the best driver's SUVs gets better in some ways and worse in others. The 2023 BMW X7 arrives on the market with a refresh that is bound to get people talking. BMW's largest SUV was controversial from the moment it arrived in 2019 due to its enormous kidney grill, and we doubt this latest styling update for 2023 is going to quell the haters. After getting some brief seat time in the facelift X7, Carbuzz had the chance to spend a whole week driving the entry-level xDrive 40i model with the inline-six engine. BMW improved the X7 with more power, a smooth 48-volt mild hybrid system, and new technology inside. This remains one of the most athletic three-row SUVs to drive, but not all of the changes for 2023 are positive. Is this still our luxury family hauler? Sort of. Not so split styling opinions. We can't remember anyone loving the X7's styling before, but BMW's odd and sudden decision to implement a split headlight design seems to have everyone scratching their heads. This is a design trend that has become more common lately, especially in the BMW stabe. Audi will even copy it with its upcoming Q6 and a 6 e-tron electric vehicles. We honestly didn't hate the lights as much as some others, but we admit they are a bit funky. In terms of other styling changes, the X7 doesn't look too drastically different beyond the front end, although there have been some refinements made at the rear, including three-dimensional lights. There are some new 23-inch light alloy wheels that look great, but they are expensive, and we wouldn't relish footing the bill for replacement tires on them when they inevitably get popped by a pothole. 21-inch wheels, or even the 22s, do just fine. There are 14 exterior colors to choose from, including his stunning and inoffensive new sparkling copper-gray metallic on our tester. If you want something flashier, go for frozen Portimo blue. The six-cylinder is enough. Part of why we have loved the X7 since its introduction was the driving experience. This may be the largest BMW, but it is surprisingly athletic in the same way as an NFL lineman, they may not look it, but they will shock you with their speed and agility. We tested the base xDrive 40i model with the 3.0-liter turbocharged inline-6. BMW's B85 inline is a sweetheart, offering a sonorous engine note with smooth power delivery. Speaking of which, the 6-pot is upgraded for 2023 and now produces 375 horsepower and 383 lbft of torque, 40 horsepower and 52 lbft more than before, the automaker says that torque can be boosted up to 398 lbft with mild hybrid assistance. Power goes to all-wheel drive as standard through a faultless 8-speed automatic transmission. 0 to 60 miles per hour takes 5.6 seconds, which we think is plenty quick for such a massive vehicle. The fuel economy isn't horrendous, at 21-25-22 mpg city-highway combined. All trims get the 48-volt mild hybrid system that can smoothly stop the engine at traffic lights and restart it without fuss. We've driven some smooth mild hybrid assisted cars before, but the X7 takes the cake. The stop-slash-start function is pretty much imperceptible. BMW also sells the more potent M60i, which has a 4.4-liter twin-turbo V8. It delivers 523 horsepower and 553 lbft of torque, good for a 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint in just 4.5 seconds. You'll also save money at the pump because the V8 drinks fuel at a rate of 16-slash-21-slash-18 mpg as a trade-off for all the power. After spending a whole week with the inline-6, we're not sure the M60i is necessary. The base model never once felt underpowered, and, in our humble opinion, if you leave the house a second earlier in it, you'll still get your kids to school on time. Unless, of course, you simply want a quicker sprint time from your behemoth, and it's not really about practicality or budgets, if you have more money than sense and your family has a pension for speed, the Alpina XB7 generates 630 horsepower from a tuned version of BMW's twin-turbo V8. It's the closest thing BMW will make to an X7M, and it can top out at 180 miles per hour. A slightly odd driving experience. All X7 models ship with a two-axle air suspension, 
but while active roll stabilization is standard on the M60i, it's an added cost option on the base model. It doesn't completely erase body roll, but it keeps the X7 in check around corners unlike any vehicle we've driven of this size and functionality. Even a Mercedes-AMG GLS 63 doesn't feel quite as nimble, well-balanced, or connected to the driver as the X7, in our opinion. This is truly a driver's family SUV. The air suspension is supple over bumps, even with gargantuan 23-inch wheels, but BMW's calibration of the integral active steering and rear axle steering left us a bit befuddled. The rear steering is standard, and has never been cause for concern on any BMW we've tested, including the original X7. However, when combined with the integral active steering, part of a $3,300 dynamic handling package on the base model, the X7 felt twitchy when returning the steering wheel to the center. The steering wheel changes weight to make slow speed maneuvers easier and make overtaking smoother, but in our experience, there's something off about how BMW has calibrated it. Pay attention on your test drive to see if it's noticeable. Don't get the captain's chairs. The X7 can be a decently practical vehicle, but less so if you opt for the $850 second row captain's chairs. These seats are incredibly comfortable with power adjustment and pillows on the backs of the headrest, but they severely hinder cargo capacity. With these seats equipped, you cannot fully fold the second row, limiting the trunk to a little over 48.6 cubic feet. If you get the standard bench seat, the X7 can accommodate up to 90.4 cubic feet with that folded down, which is more than the Mercedes GLS. As for passenger space, the GLS holds the advantage in rear legroom for both the second and third rows. Compared to something like a Cadillac Escalade or Lincoln Navigator, the X7 actually feels cramped in the back. We like how the second and third row seats are heated, but mainstream models like the Kia Telluride, Hyundai Palisade, and Mazda CX-90 offer ventilated second row seats at a fraction of the cost. This seems like a major oversight from BMW. Technology galore. It was already advanced in terms of tech before, but the X7 takes some nice leaps forward in technology with the 2023 facelift. The X7 now comes with the latest iDrive 8 software, which lives on a 14.9-inch gauge cluster and 12.3-inch touchscreen, courtesy of BMW's curved display. Voice command is intuitive and repeatedly easy to activate, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are available wirelessly. The gauge cluster can even display Apple Maps while navigating, a rare feature that's not found in most competitors. There's also a new ambient light bar on the dash that lights up in your chosen ambient color and plays an animation when you receive a phone call. It's not as impressive as the light bar in the new 7 series, but it still looks pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.